Reds fans rejoice. Tomorrow your season begins. It's a fake season, but it's baseball. Cactus League play begins Tuesday. Cleveland Indians, but you won't see all the stars, at least not yet. Joey Votto, who missed 100 games last year, isn't ready yet. Manager Brian Price says Joey's uh, not up to game speed. After Tuesday's workout, Joey told reporters he was feeling good, expected to be in the lineup soon, since he's uh, a lot of makeup to do from last year. I feel like it, this is almost, I'm starting to move more towards uh, just being fully ready for, for a baseball season. You know, I, I, the plan is to be ready opening day and, and to really embrace another uh, opening day in Cincinnati and, and start a winning season, a championship season. And uh, I hope to do my small part along with the rest of the guys. You know, basketball 20 is a good number when you're uh, hunting for that dance ticket in March. Bearcats got their 20th win against Tulane this weekend. Two more chances at W's. They close against Tulsa and Memphis before that AAC tourney. Now, 20 might mean nothing if they can't get a couple more W's. Nothing else. Is, uh, don't worry about the conference tournament. Don't worry about Memphis on Saturday. Worry about beating Tulsa. Next game, that is all. If you take care of that, then you can advance to the next step. But if you don't take care of that, nothing else matters after that. Here's the way Joe Lenardi's bracketology looks. UK's the number one seed, Louisville a five. Buckeyes a seven facing NC State. Xavier an eight facing number nine, Dayton. A winner of that one would get Kentucky. Hoosiers a 10 seed face San Diego State. Bearcats a play in against Purdue. Winner would get Huggins in West Virginia. There's a little intriguing stuff going on No. Uh, it's been an important year in Highland Heights for Kentucky. I mean, Northern Kentucky. Three years in Division I. This first year that they've had some major props and postseason honors. Taylor Person named the A Sun Freshman of the Year. Also made second team all conference with Jalen Billups. North still can't play in the big dance, but this is the first year they'll be allowed to play in the conference. Turning number four seed against number five, Lipscomb. And that one's tomorrow. They are 27-0, the best in the land. Thomas Moore women, the number one seed for Division III tourney. Sydney Moss, player of the year, she along with her Saints. Well, they're going to host Greensboro in their opening game on Friday to make it 28-0. Weather caused havoc this weekend with a Honda Classic, Palm Beach, Florida. Went to a playoff with veteran European Padraig Harrington. 21-year-old Daniel Berger, that one. The 15-foot birdie on 18 forced the playoff. In the playoff, 17, Berger. This is uh, not the tee shot you want. That's water. Bad. And Potty stuck his to three feet and didn't even need to make that birdie. Par was good enough. He wins his first tour event since 2008.